In this video, we are going to see how we can generate some procedural elsewhere on ZBrush. So I have this model that is unwrapped, and we are going to generate some polygroups from the UVs. So we can go to polygroups, auto groups with UV, and it's going to make some polygroups based on the UVs. This way, we can later mask the edges of the polygroups, right? We are also going to need some more definitions, so we are going to use a Dynamesh for this. Just increase that, and there we have some more definition. As you can see, it's very faceted, so we are going to go to deformation, and we are going to play around with the polish features here. We are going to start with polish by groups, and let's see what that does. Maybe let's turn off this. There we go, that's better. We're going to make a little bit more. And we have those really sharp edges that are a bit unnatural. Maybe you can use polish for, for this. There we go, that's a bit better. All right, uh, we still have some here, but I'm not going to care about that right now. Right, so we want to keep this as non-destructive as possible, so before applying the noise, we are going to create a morph target. And we can go to masking. And mask by feature, we are going to mask based on the group borders. Right. And now we are going to crop this. Control alt click on the mesh to sharpen it. Maybe grow it a little bit more, something like that, should work, All right? We are going to invert the mask with control click outside the mesh. And we are going to now go to surface, noise. And here we are going to play with the noise maker. So first thing, we are going to come here and see what's going on. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this, just take your time and try different options here. I'm not a noisemaker um, expert, so I won't be able to do much. I'm just going to add some turbulence and just try stuff like that. Let's play a bit with the strength to see what's going on. the mix. We are also going to increase the scale here. All right, that's nice. All right, I'm back. Seems like we shouldn't play with the magnify by mask option. Anyways, we can keep playing with this. And most importantly, we're going to play a little bit with the noise curve. So we get some places with and without noise like that. So just go ahead, play with the different noise scales, the mixes, the different settings, and we are going to get something like this. All right, let's press OK, I'm fine with that. And instead of applying the noise to the mesh, we are going to choose mask by noise. This is so we can avoid some uh, artifacts with the noise on the model. Right, so that's going to create a mask from the noise. We can now go to deformation, and for example, we can use inflate to add noise to our mesh. All right, so if you want, you can do this on a layer so you can modulate it later, but I'm just going to do it right here. All right, so we can delete the mask. And we are going to have something like this. Now this seems a little bit unnatural maybe, really unnatural, but luckily we have the morph target, so we can go to the morph brush here, and we can just erase parts manually. And of course if you spend more time making the noise, so it looks a little bit more natural. It will look, of course, better. So 
So just go ahead and erase some parts of it and clean it up a little bit. Alright, so that is one of the ways you can add some edgeware in ZBrush. Of course, you should now take this and do some manual touch-up, but it's this is a very nice way to get some edgeware really quickly and easily into your models. So if you like this video, please leave a like, share the content if you think it will be useful to someone else, and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Have a nice day.